Dan Perry here again, and another episode of our TCPIP basis, basics. Uh, in this episode, we're going to begin looking at subnet masks. Uh, we're going to talk about the reason for using them, uh, look at the notations. Well, a subnet mask is used along with the IP address to identify which part of the IP address is used for the, to, for the network number to identify the network and which part is used for the host portion uh, or the machine on that network. Routers use the network portion of the IP address to determine how to forward packets to get it to the next network so that as it goes from network to network, it eventually reaches its destination. Now, a subnet mask always starts out with its bits, the leftmost bits, as 1. And as we move to the right from bit 0 to bit 31, we'll have 1s until we get to the end of the network portion. At that point, bits switch to 0, and that indicates the host portion. <coughs> Leftmost most bits are always 1, rightmost bits 0. You'll never see a transition going from a 0 back to a 1 in a subnet mask, only the transition starting at the 1's going to 0. Some examples, the default Class A mask is a 255.0.0.0 or the first 8 bits indicating the 8 bits of the network number are 1's and the remaining 24 are zeros. The class B subnet mask, the default is 255, 255, 0, 0 or the first 16 bits indicate the network, the last 16 bits the host. And our default class C mask 255, 255, 255, 0, with 1's in the first 24 bits, indicating the network portion. If you have looked at your TCP IP settings for your systems at home, this is probably the subnet mask you'll see. Now, there are two notations we see with subnet mask. One is to show the subnet mask as a dotted decimal notation, so you'd have the IP address and then you would have a subnet mask using the same notation as the IP address. Uh, of course there it would start with the ones in the bit positions. Uh, when you're working that way, and that's the way uh, if you're in a Windows machine you have to enter your subnet mask, uh, it's, it's probably still the most used. There's another notation called CIDR, or a slash notation, and there you, sh you show the IP address, and you follow it with a slash, and then the number of bits that are in the network portion. This is a real nice shorthand way of representing the subnet mask, and it's so much easier and quicker to write that it's becoming very popular. Okay. In our ne next episode, in our next episode, we'll begin looking at what subnetting is and how we actually use the subnets. <clears throat>